Here's my home, here's my tent. That's the roof that's gonna shelter me from the storm. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I didn't hear any storm or any, any rain last night. A little bit of wind, but nothing, nothing too major. And so I'm ready to leave here and I'm gonna make my way. I've got all these passes to do and these routes to do that I've been recommended. So I'm gonna try and do those. And uh, Damien is actually less than a couple of hundred miles away. So I may bump into him, but let's go. So I've done about 70 miles and I'm now on this gorgeous pass towards Spearfish, I think it's called. And uh, just the scenery and the trees are stunning. And it's just, it's a bit colder. It's about 14 degrees now, 15 degrees. So I'm, I'm layered up and uh, yeah, it's actually quite a nice, let the traffic go. It's quite a nice experience not being really sweaty. So I don't mind it actually. Just look at this. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this road really enjoying it and this road was uh, actually suggested to me on Instagram just last night so I just uh, was like sod it I'll go do it <laughs> I'm here why not and I'm uh, very glad I did so thank you to who that was I'm in a place called Hewlett and uh, you got little places like this which look really cool. All the towns are like really old school cowboyish. All the towns, all the buildings, sorry. First decent view of Devil's Tower. That will be my next stop. A lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> look at this, glorious. Oh, here's Devil's Tower. Go right up to it a little bit. See what it looks like. Um, this is less than ideal. Traffic for a quarter of a mile to stoplight. If I was in the UK, I'd go around the outside, but I'm reckoning I'll get shot if I do that here. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be worth it because I'm sat in standstill traffic in the heat, in the sun and I can kind of see loosen you off I can see it just there I think I'm going to turn around and venture off bye bye It's not going to be worth it to sit in that traffic. Off to the next place. See it from the road. Lovely night stay in this little room. Although I think I'm struggling with the time zone slightly because my body likes to wake me up at four o'clock in the morning which is a bit crap. So it's almost half past six <laughs> and I'm packed, ready to go on the bike. Um, it's six degrees outside, so I'm layering up with my stuff and I've got to jump on underneath because I've got to go over a mountain pass. And in theory, I'm going to meet Damo in a couple of hours and then we're going to go into Yellowstone together, either today or tomorrow. We haven't quite decided yet, but it'd be nice to see him catch up. Time to get on the road and ride this pass. Had to put some more layers on, put my walk boots on as a windbreak and cracked out my winter gloves. It's 11 degrees, but the wind chill is pretty cold and I'm going up, so I'm guessing it's going to get colder. I'm on the mountain road. It's pretty cool. I'm at almost 9,000 feet still climbing. It's, I've had, it's nine degrees now, but it went down to four. So I got an ice warning on the dash. My gloves are really stiff because they're brand new. 
and uh, there's snow oh you can't see it there's snow just over there on top of the hill which is literally just over there uh, here we go here we go this is there <laughs> so yeah well there's 9,000 feet definitely the highest I've been on this trip definitely the coldest I've been on this trip I'm having a good time and I'm not actually cold so I'm all layered up so I'm quite comfortable now views in the road are really good Woo! starting to go down the other side now so there's seven and a half thousand feet look at these mountains have just come out of um, like quite a narrow section all covered up and it's just opened up into this just stunning and I probably said that over and over again the last couple of couple of days but it really is and I don't think the camera well cameras never do it justice you have to you have to come here to see it for real and, and experience it you don't get the vastness through the camera lens Well, that's the end of the pass over the mountains. 104 miles left before I get to the place where I'm supposed to meet Damien. I'll tell you what, I find it amazing how quickly the scenery changes. So I am in Cody. Damo is somewhere here. I've got him on the tracking. I think he's in a Walmart car park, so I'm gonna go there. I'm Ty Maxey. Huh? Fancy bumping into you here. At a Walmart of all places. <laughs> I'm stiff. I don't need to know that you're stiff. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm layered up as well. So I've just had to set up my bear spray and I've got it just down here now. So when I'm riding along and there's a bear, I pull it out, spray a bear, and save myself. We've both had a bit of a break, some food. Got our bear sprays all set up. Famos is here. And um, we're gonna, we've sacked off Yellowstone today because it's Saturday and it's gonna be really busy and it's already middle of the day. So we are going to go to a place called Old Town, which I think will be a little bit like 1880 um, town that I went to. So I'm kind of looking forward to see some more of that and it's looking. Just balance this for a sec. Uh, yeah, just gonna have a look around Cody. Looks like a very nice town anyway. So that's the plan. Another nice little visit. It was not much different to 1880 to be honest, um, but it was nice to see. They had a lot of dead animals in there, like you know, where the heads cut off, and they're all. Um, What's it called? It's stuck on the wall. But it was, uh, yeah, it was interesting. So after a nice day with Damien, we've sat in a, in a pub in Cody for a long time. I uh, went to Walmart and just constantly met people. So sat in Walmart for God knows how long as well. Uh, met another lad on a 890 from England on 21 plate. Um, he'd been riding about 1,000 miles over here, so he just started his trip. Met a 75-year-old who was riding an old 1983 BMW, and he was just riding around the US on it. Um, it was just really cool, just loads of people just coming up to us and chatting and we just sat there lapping it up and, and chatting away to them. We are now literally 10 miles away from Yellowstone and managed to find a campsite. But it turns out it's a scout camp. Uh, but then we met the, the guy on site and he's like, oh look, you know, we're at changeover period so no scouts are actually here. But you're more than welcome to stay with us and we're having a cookout. So now we are going to go down to near the river because the half the staff are sort of young safeguarding uh, rules in place so I'm not going to film down there for that reason uh, but I'm going to enjoy the sort of uh, the chat and the get together and the food and then we're going to sleep the night and this is my first night in grizzly bear country so everything that smells is now in this little hut we are over there 
my tent's actually behind Damon's. There's my bike there. Um, and then uh, the bear spray will come in and tent with me. So, yeah, no one's seen any bears, I think, in last night or the night before here. But where Damo was sleeping there, it was nine, apparently. So they are here. Uh, we've got to be careful. So here's my and Damo's everything. This is everything that goes in you or on you. So including uh, tooth floss and lip balms and anything that's sort of smelly to a... There's my toiletry bag and that's all my food stuff. And then can we close the door, go to bed with our um, bear spray. So it was a very lovely evening and I saw a rock that looked just like a penis. Very nice evening last night, chatting to the scouts and things. And when I was about 14, I was in, well, I was in Beavers, Cubs and Scouts when I was younger and um, I did a little exchange thing with in America and I went to a place called Camp Cherokee so I was talking to them trying to dig deep of 20 years worth of memory trying to remember that stuff it's kind of interesting and this morning we were riding with a guy called Jess coming into Yellowstone and um, we've had a little brunt lunch which was the most expensive crappy muffin, like um, egg McMuffin sort of thing. And yeah, look at this. Right on the side of the road. There's been a bear, but tucked um, tucked right up in the in the woods, so wasn't going to come up on on video very easily. Yeah, now we're riding through. We've got the big lake next to us still. So we're on our way to see Old Faithful, which is the big geezer. So this will be the reality of a big attraction in Yellowstone, a bit the Old Faithful, the Big Geezer, and um, there's a million and five tourists, two different car parks, and we have no idea where to park, where to go. All we know is we want to park close because it's quite hot and it's a bother. Beep, boop. Right, invisibility cloaks on. So this morning, as we were rolling into Yellowstone National Park, we went past some gorgeous lakes and over a big high mountain at like almost eight and a half, nine thousand feet again, and saw some uh, gorgeous rocks and scenery and like, oh, it's just amazing. Uh, the views and the roads were awesome on the way in too. Uh, Jess, he then left us and then we've had a leisurely drive in to Old Faithful, which is where we are now. And we're gonna go have a look and might have to wait for like an hour and a half till it blows off, but you know, we'll see how it is. Sounds like the eggs are ready. It was going quiet now, all ready for it. Bit of an anti climax, wasn't it? I know, kidding me. Better be a proper five minute gusher. I really want it to be like right up there. Mm, better be a gusher. I want to look up at it. <laughs> look up at most things, so don't you? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be, we got in a little argument because I wanted to be in the middle so I could get all three. Hmm. Well, the thing is, the, the way it's going, you could get around there now before this one even pops its load. Uh -huh. You still think it's going to... Oh, it's... <laughs> that wasn't the right <laughs> sentence. <laughs> you are <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, <it's one> <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd just shut up if I were you. <laughs> just showing you lot are interpreting it. I have plenty of time.
it. That is pretty good, isn't it? Look, you can just come. Oh, yeah, I'm looking up at it, yeah. That was worth the hour and a bit wait. So we made it to Old Faithful, and there it is going off there. It's uh, pretty high and pretty impressive, and it stinks of sulphur, as you'd imagine. I mean, I'd rather do that. But, uh, yeah, I can feel it actually, said here, when I'm downwind of it. It's quite cooling in the heat. We still got to find a campsite and still got to see a lot more other stuff. So no idea where we're going to go next. This is the Rainbow Pool. Oh, look at little geezer going off. Squirting everywhere. Um, we're doing the quick stop. Well, when I say stop, not stop. Yeah, no, that's pretty, pretty gorgeous. All the salts. Ticked. Let's go. It's hot. There's tourists everywhere. Just pulled over quickly. Had some more water to my bladder. But just look at the scenery. It's just amazing around here. Like, there's a lovely river running through. It's lovely. Look like beautiful, playful things. And the little balls of death. Yeah, big balls of death, yeah. It's a big wolf over there. That sense of smells good, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know exactly where the food is. Tops of the rocks aside, nothing. Big rock. So in the hunt for a campsite, uh, apparently this was the campsite, and as you can see, there's not really anything here. Um, and although we could technically probably stay here, we're not that comfortable with the whole bear situation at the moment. Um, despite going to the uh, Discovery Centre, it was very interesting. Um, saw saw the bears and read up about how to camp, and also saw a demonstration of how to use bear spray. It could have been useful, um, but the trail's quite fun. Little rocky in places here, but nothing too too technical. So I'm just now following Demo's dust, and he's going a slightly different route that we came in on. Um, so. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. Good little trail though. Where is he? Oop. Pick my way through the rocks. Pick my way through the rocks. Off. It's twenty-six dollars for the pair of us. I've got little bear boxes. It's a bit more populated with people, so kind of feel a bit safer. And there's water to top up in the morning, so that's good. At least we've got a tent for the night, and we can settle in. <laughs> 